Welcome to Card Corner. These are the cards. That's the corner. Today I've got this box that was sent to me by um, a member from the uh, BBM Sumo Collector Group. They are, they'd send this box around to people where you take stuff you need and put stuff that you have extra of in for other people. Um, this was organized by um, the card, the guy who runs the channel, uh, Sumo Menko Man. Uh, you should check him out if you like the Sumo cards, especially. Uh, I think he's putting out uh, this book that is just like catalogs all of the different sets of Sumo cards. So I think that's pretty cool. Gotta be careful here because looks like we got something right up top here. He's working on this book that ha details, catalogs and details all of the sumo sets from uh, basically as far back as uh, they go. And he's, which is like way more sort of academic than we've ever been on this channel, that's for sure. Let's just see, let's see what they sent. All right, so first it is this uh, Tope. Tokyo hands. Not sure what that is. It looks like maybe some kind of like towel or something. Oh man, there's so much stuff in here. All right, here is uh, looks like an insert from 2021 for Endo. Not sure if that's the base. Oh, and here's our first really old looking one. I, I've never actually seen one of these in person, just off of the uh, Sumo Manko Man's channel, mostly. I love the old um, printing processes. I took photography in school, so I sort of learned about all of these old different printing techniques. Let's just take it out to have a look. So it's pretty thick. And I love how it like takes up the form of the sumo wrestlers, the whole card. That's very cool. You can watch along with us. All right, here we got uh, some more Inserts, I guess. Oh, here are the brand new ones. 2024. I haven't opened any of these yet. Look at those, uh, got like a little hippo guy on his washi there all right bbm they also make baseball cards so i guess they threw in some of these ryo watanabe ryoma nishikawa it's pretty cool here's a boxer he looks like he is having an intense day Ooh, look at all that empty space right there. Can't read it anyway. Is that may say? Yo, yo, you. Ichi no Joe. And Arawash. Oh, that's an old looking soccer card. When's this from? Oh, 2011. And the Japanese soccer cards sure do look different to me. <laughs> they got the... The different, um, like, trait statistics. Like it's a video game. Oh, here is, uh, looks like Karate. Some more baseball. 
Seichi Uchikawa. All right, what's this? This is some looks super old. <laughs> they are all done up. So let's take a look at those after. All right, here's another pack. Little pack. It's got. Some kind of schedule, I guess. Maybe it's a, a schedule for this. I don't know. Some Olympic Games cards. These are from Atlanta. The 96 games produced by Collect the Card. We've never seen those ones before. Kanagawa. That's where that wave is from. Oh, a Shohei Otani card. Are these the. <laughs> Looks like somebody has put together the. Um, <laughs> the. Um, Japanese players in the major leagues. It's pretty cute. Oh, and these are those uh, World Cup stickers for the Japanese team. And some more BBM. Various sports. Is, this, is she a bowler? Bowling, wow. Swimming. <laughs> I think it's funny that they make cards for bowling in Japan. Although, I think maybe this set is like a... has multiple sports in it. It's not just bowling cards. Next, we got some of these BigSumoFan.com stickers. If you want to get some of the Sumo card packs, you can get them to send you some. Uh, looks like maybe some kind of sweepstakes. <laughs> Very sad looking Sumo. All right, so in here we also got some Texaco Star Team Racing cards leading the pack. I I like the the border on these ones. Pit crew action, victory number two, Charlotte. Victory number four in Michigan. I guess so. I guess it's for just one specific racing team, and the um, the border is working well because it's like popping off their like uniform colors. The checklist. Davy Allison set a new average speed record of one hundred and sixty point nine one two miles per hour at the Michigan International Speedway. Soaring to an 11.72 second margin of victory over fellow Alabama gang member Hut Strickland. The 400 mile race on the two mile speedway was virtually caution free, with only one yellow flag being waved early in the race. Some racing cards. Alright, 
next one. Looks like we got another another one of the bowling cards. All right, here's a tennis. Synchronized swimming. Skiing. Moraiki Kasai. Misami Ihira, soccer player. Pro wrestling, uh, Kenta Kobashi. He looks buff. And we got a lot more Japanese baseball cards. I like his expression. And wow, it's going right on his leg there. Yuki Joseph Nakajima. I wonder what year that's from. Doesn't say. Maybe it's just black and white for effect. Well, that's a good portrait of that guy. Daichi Suzuki. Another wrestler. That guy looks like he has a lot of charisma. Got a runner, some dancer, motor sport. So this BBM set, they just cover everything. Cricket, fencing. I think that's probably the first fencing card we've seen on the channel. Rhythmic Gymnastics. Oh, Japanese hockey card. That's cool. Might take that one. Speed Skating. Nordic Combined. Not sure what that means. Artistic Swimming. And then a couple more sumo cards. All right, we are plowing through this box here. Hope you guys are enjoying watching me go through all this. There's a, a <laughs> there's so much more. It's ridiculous. All right, we've got a garbage pail kid. It's Sumo Sid. For evasion and cunning, above and beyond the call of duty, you sure get a lot done if in life, and it's all behind the backs of others. Lying, cheating, and stealing mean nothing to you, yet they mean so much to all your victims. Keep up the good work, but listen, don't let anybody know. I don't know what that has to do with sumo. Oh, I guess it's a sticker, so it's separate. It's cool. This is something old looking. Looks like a Japanese Ferris wheel. Oh, that's cool. That's uh, it looks. I think you get these at like the shr the shrines. When you give them some money. And this will, like watchtower place. Huh. This thing's pretty cool. They've got in Japan, it's called the 88 Temples Pilgrimage. Um, it's on one of the islands in the south, and you there's like all, all these temples along there, and you like walk, like the circumference of the island, basically go into all these temples, and it takes like over a month. Oh, we got some handprint stickers. Not sure who those are the handprints of, though. And it uh, looks like, um, like some stationery. Oh, that's cool. It's 
like this little painting. Painting somebody made. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's cool. Sumo Techniques. Mira Ori. It says 1978, but it's not from 1978 because it's got it web stuff on it. All right, we got a rear foot sweep. Head pivot throw. Soku Toshi. Soto Gaki. Oh man, there's so many. That's pretty neat. Arm bark throw counter. Beltless arm throw. Forward force throw. So it's basically all of the uh, different like finishing techniques that you can use in sumo. Knee touchdown. Oh, that's very cool. I like that a lot. To remember all the things they can do. Here's another one of those uh, bookmarks. Some different tourist sites, it looks like. Not really too sure what they're of, but um, I appreciate the old style of photography. They do seem pretty old. <coughs> Looks like some stationery, more stationery. You can put your photos in a little little house. This is oh, some origami. Bunch of these star things. The crane. I never had the patience for the Japanese art of paper folding. Oh, these are very cool. Some old Japanese postcards. That's so cool, man. Sweet. Man, these are these look super old, especially this one. Issue by Awai Akanabiki Ako Matsu. Looks very nice. All right, next we've got, it looks like this is the, uh, I think it's pronounced Benzuke. 
This is um, like a ranking they send out before every tournament to show you where everybody sits. up oh these are cool looking these like circle old cards got a samurai Another samurai. Yeah, three samurai. Wow, I love the bright colors on these. Yeah, they look great. They're almost like some huge pogs. Wonder what these were used for, or for, like if you just collected them or if it was part of some game. All right, looks like somebody sent these uh, wrappers. So we got the 2022, 2018. 97, that is an old pack wrapper. You might have opened one of these. This is for the general sport one, I think. Alright, so we've got a favorite team pack of baseball cards. I guess these are it's all gonna be all New York Yankees. And this jockey jockey cards. I take that one because we like to open packs on the channel. Alright, so I think that this is maybe why it seemed like there was so much in it, which is this t-shirt. It is double XL though, so I don't think I'll be taking it. It is for a sumo wrestler. Raijin Sumo. It's a pretty cool print. If it was my size, I'd definitely consider grabbing this. All right, it looks like there's a couple more things. <laughs> We've got a Rowena Ravenclaw Harry Potter thing. One of the four famous founders of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, Rowena Ravenclaw was the most brilliant witch of her time. Though legend has it that a broken heart, cause unknown, contributed to her early demise. Her daughter, Helena, the Grey Lady, is the Ravenclaw house ghost at Hogwarts. Cool. All right, and last, it looks like this is round Japanese playing cards. All right. That is it. All right, that is pretty cool. I'll uh, have to <laughs> take my time putting that stuff back in after. Um, I'm mostly interested in the the old things. I think 
Um, I just love the old sort of style of printing. Let's check out these tiny ones. It's so small. But I think they look really cool. Sweet. All right. I think I'll, uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this guy because there's doubles. And then I know there's only one, so I kind of feel bad, but I think I'm going to have to take this one just because it's so unique and I'd love to have one lying around to show people what the sumo cards used to look like. Um... I'm going to take the Japanese hockey card. It's because uh, we're in Canada here and uh, we take our hockey seriously. I think because we are a card opening channel, I will take this uh, pack here. And I do really like these. All right, I think that I'll take these and this pack here. And the tiny one. And what I'm going to put back is where is it so i've got this here which is basically just like a ton of extras that i had from that um there's ichi nojo eating a cake these were from leftover from the big pack that i got sent from uh john so a lot of these inserts from the old sets. I don't know if I'll be able to fit much more back in there. But I'm going to put those in there. And I'm also going to put our E Honda card that we got from uh, Com C. Showed you guys that last time. And I didn't see any other autograph cards in here, so I think that this has to be worth um, worth its weight putting it in, in here. Uh, it is one of the autograph uh, Baruto cards from when I caught Baruto in Toronto last year. Um, I got maybe six, five or six cards signed, and I think that this one... Um, has a good signature. It's the English name. I didn't include one of the kanji ones. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Uh, man, this was a really fun thing to open up and uh, just see all the different things that people threw in there. I do like this Sumo Sid card too. Uh, and it was cool to check out some of the extra stuff that people threw in here that it may not necessarily have to do with sumo wrestling. Um, some of the old Japanese postcards are pretty neat. But yeah, if you um, join that uh, BBM sumo card collecting group, I think that we always have a good time uh, talking about the hobby of collecting sumo cards. I hope you enjoyed watching me uh, open it up. I think my favorite is definitely this old uh, this old sumo card, just because it's the, it gets me every time that it's like the shape of the sumo wrestler. 
All right. This is Card Corner opening the Sumo box. Yeah, join that Sumo group if you want to participate in stuff like this. Uh, I think I'm the last person to receive it, so this is all the stuff that uh, the other people had put in after taking it, whatever they wanted. Um, I had a really fun time, and I hope you did too. Thank you, and take it easy.